one more edition of the Dick and Night Show. Um, here tonight, my special guests are Alex yeah, yeah, from Big Brother Nine. <laughs> if nobody <laughs> recognizes him, this isn't somebody off the Jersey Shore. He was off the rejected season of Big Brother, the one everyone wants to forget. Season, season nine, nine is the Jersey were actually, Shore. Were you actually Ooh. part of the orgy, Alex? Yes, I was. I was. Okay, was just fine. checking. Uh, also, we have June Song, winner of Big Brother Four. Yeah. yeah. We have Nicole from season two, the infamous Woo. Nicole. Second place, runner up. Second Ow. place, runner up to Dr. Will. That's we what have, we do. We have James Ryan, who was uh, Big Brother Six and All Stars, and Woo. also kind of Thank sort of has the tie. Rock. Kind of sort of has the tie. I got shit from him last time for not giving him uh, hit credit for where credit is due for the uh, POV wins. He has four POV wins, but helped Sarah win a POV in order to get his ass off the block. Uh, so it's four and a half POV, almost five POVs. Uh, I, was her knight, I was her knight. I was her knight. And our very, very special guest this evening, Ross Matthews from The Tonight Show and Chelsea Lately. Big fan. Yeah. Of you. Thanks for coming down, man. Okay, so um, before we get started here, I want to remind everybody, I got some shit up on eBay, go and bid on it. I got a merch page coming up at deadclubs.com forward slash evil, E-V-E-L, including the shirt that you saw me wearing tonight. Um, so speaking of my appearance tonight, um, let's get everybody's reaction on my, I, I'm, I'm out of this. This is all you guys. I want to hear what you think about my assessment of Danielle's play. Nicole, get started. Don't feel bad. Well, first on of all, it. I'm, I'm just saying, you just put your shirt up that you wore at the show tonight. <laughs> really? I'll bid. I'll start the bid. <laughs> oh, my God. I got one no, point. I one point. I haven't put that up yet. Okay, but it's going. It's just Not everyone yet. knows that. I know That's Ross right. is going to bid on that. Right, Ross? <laughs> I'm um, bidding euro. I, I'll, take <laughs> I'll take the euro. <laughs> Those are like two to one right now at this point. So you're <laughs> probably going to win. <laughs> you're no kidding. Um, after today's market, come on, come on, James Ryan, you know what I'm talking about. So, anyway, tonight, I think that your daughter's shout out to you is awesome. I know that you don't think that it was the shit, but, I mean, she put you in the forefront, she gave you some props, I thought it was kind of cool, especially since you guys haven't spoken in three fucking years, again. Julie Chen asked her question, she had to answer it. Yeah, but she could have answered it like a douche, like maybe you would have answered it if the tables were turned. Hey, I've been very, very good to her um, in on the show, in the show. She's done a lot of shit talking about me on the feeds. And I think that out of all the footage I gave them, that they actually pulled a uh, halfway decent clip. It could have been much worse, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, see, then you caught a break. I'm just saying that the, the, the mixture between real life and what people see and what people hear and being on the show and being off the show and your father-daughter shit is way... You, you can't... It doesn't cross over well. It just doesn't. You know it doesn't. I heard the crickets chirping there. So <laughs> did I. It was, it was my phone, but that was really good timing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Timing. I feel like it's a time. Uh, let's, uh, how about June? June will be cut to the bone. What do you think of my assessment of Danielle's play, gameplay? No, I thought you were articulate. I was very surprised. Like, I, I, I was tweeting and listening at the same time, and I did not once stop to, like, make fun of you. So I thought you did a really good job, and you kept it about the game. Uh, I Can I just that. say really quickly, I thought you said, what, what did you say about your daughter's shout-out to you? No, I, I didn't. I was <laughs> like, oh, hey, I totally misunderstood the question. My bad. I'm a virgin on the dick at night show. What can I yeah, do? Yeah, you are. The only thing you're a virgin what? on. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, I was going to say. You talk about my gray box again, James. We're going to have a problem. I don't know how that was. Uh, yeah, this was pre pre show talk talking about the great box. <laughs> um, Ross, let's hear what you have to say. What do you think about what do you think of my assessment of her game? Was I pretty on? Do you think I was wrong? Do you think I was right? Well, here's the deal. First of all, I want to say to all of you, thank you so much for having me on. Can you hear me? Everyone can hear me loud and clear. Yeah. Well, we yeah, can hear you. But I can't loud and clear, see you. We can hear you. I'm honored and thrilled to be on with you. Now, Dick, it was cool seeing you on tonight, and what I thought was really interesting, because I'm a super fan, is one, how harsh you were with your daughter, and I 
I would ask to be that harsh to anyone else, but I know you would be. But what was super interesting is that she kind of, when Julie asked her about her own gay play, said what you said, that she acted too soon, you know? She was kind of in tune with you did. I thought it was kind of funny that it was almost reiterating what I just said, and they played the segment right before that. So I think they showed her the video clip. That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> you think that's what it was? <laughs> Yo, who who has the fucking TV on? Lord Turn call the you. fuck off. Mute that shit. I thought there was a TV Yo, why can't I change. see Ross? No, my volume's down, man. It's smaller than that. <laughs> why can't I see Ross? Anybody? I can't see Ross. Ross is hiding from you. <laughs> yeah, no. Nick, oh, you, you, you have to people. you have to toggle your settings. Don't even worry about it. Everybody else can see him. God damn it! Uh, Go toggle see yourself. Go toggle. I've yourself. already toggled myself, my darling. But I'll do it <laughs> if you insist. I'll be right back. Oh my God! Right <laughs> setting. How did you like the fact that Jordan is more worried about her eviction dress than oh. anything else? Oh. Alex, take that one. Uh, it's it's a. Si- it's the same old with her. It's just, you ask her a question, half the time it doesn't get answered, and then it's she does her southern charm, and that's it. You just look at her and you just laugh. It's it's like the nicer version of Rachel. You just laugh every time something comes out. Ooh. <laughs> you can't say good. Rachel and Jordan in the same sentence. No, no, no. The nicer oh version. God. The nicer version. <laughs> yes. No, I, I think well, that even uh, I think that Rachel's much smarter than Jordan. She's just an emotional disaster. Small, right? Are we going to uh, touch I, that? What are we talking about? Rachel's disaster. If she was crying, but... Did, oh, we're, we're going to get to that. Did I see anything? Um, what do you think about Rachel saying <clears throat> that her and Brendan were the most dynamic duo in the house? Uh, look, Ross is like laughing his ass up already. James, I haven't thrown you a bone yet. Go. Oh, man. I, re- I just didn't want to talk about them anymore. I was just sad <laughs> with this, this season for them at least, or at least Brencha was over. Um, I would love to see actually Rachel get evicted this week and then fight Brendan to come back in the house, but unfortunately he would roll over like a bitch again. I don't understand how you win a competition. Essentially, Brendan took the easy way out. Brendan did not want to be a part of this anymore. I think a lot of things are taking its toll on him. He realizes that maybe their relationship isn't as strong as they think it is, and I think he just wanted to get the hell out of Dodge and try to save a little bit of face. Think. See, I think he's playing the martyr role and that he's like so worried about his, you know, appearance to his girlfriend and he didn't really it's not even thought through. Because anybody <laughs> has a, anyone has a better chance at winning this thing than Rachel does. Right. And Completely. I think that Brendan has a much better chance at actually winning it. And if he was so concerned about them as a couple, he would have let her go, cut her loose, started playing his own game. And possibly, you know, uh, at least have a chance of bringing home a half a million dollars for them. Go, Alex. It's like my season. You can't let emotions get to the gameplay. You gotta what that. season are you on? Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> 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 Two times a loser. <laughs> oh, oh hey, here we go. All I gotta say is Ross has probably been on more episodes of BB than you, Alex. So I don't <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Alex was on the season that was like uh, an anchor uh, chained to, to everyone's ankle, where Alex ended up at the bottom of the ocean because of who the fuck was your partner, Jen? Amanda. Oh, Amanda. Oh, oh. Amanda. Oh. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda having the fake seizure in the house. Yes. I'm sorry, Alex. I apologize. Uh, and wow. then Parker ended up going down because of Jen. And Literally was, going down. Yeah. Hey now, oh, Lord. Lord. Jen. Oh, this was I the sh- reason that they used the golden key this uh, this uh, season here. So, anyhow, they tried to get, they tried to fix what they fucked up in season nine. I think um, Ross is leaving. <laughs> Ross is like, I'm out of here. We're talking about season nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Evil. One second. One e- second. <laughs> He's got busy calls. It's it's Jay, Jay Leno. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's Chelsea. Evil. It's Chelsea later. <laughs> yes. Actually, it's his agent. His agent just called and said, you get the fuck off that show. Right? <laughs> 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 okay, it's going to die. One second. Uh, he's got a plug his phone. Who's calling me? Can, uh, it's me, Nicole. Nicole. Go. Can I just tell you, I was watching your last episode of this show uh, the other night after you contacted me. And it was really funny because although I'm not going to completely exploit, because I think that's really fucked up to do, uh, the situation during the whole penis gate thing, 
<laughs> I definitely did receive a phone call from Rachel to me. She hunted me down through my ex-boyfriend who works in Las Vegas, made him give her my phone number, and she called me for, like, therapy. After the whole thing went down, Julie did the whole talk. Oh, that's right. Talk, Talked about whatever that show is. The talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you want to talk about a meltdown, honey? You should have heard her on the phone with me for three hours. Now, I have to try to be somewhat... I would have just hung up. Uh, Can you imagine? My phone dropped the call. (laughs) Wait, so you're responsible for advising her to, like, take Brendan back, you bitch? (laughs) (laughs) Jim, Jim, hold the phone. Shut the front door. (laughs) Jim, you know me. Do you actually think that I I would advise her that? Honey, I, I was advising her to go get a fucking makeover, go get a haircut, stop and look, looking like a fucking trashy hoe bag, and change like her life. Chen Bob tonight. Oh, oh hey, hey. I like. And by Jones the way, I like with, that. Jones in love with way, Julie Chen. She's trying I to like get back on All Stars by complimenting Julie nonstop. Hold on, Ross wants uh, to say something. I saw him uh, swearing uh, over there. Do you think that, like, uh, um, Brendan doing this for Rachel, just, like, throwing himself out of the house, has anything to do with sort of trying to make up with that whole online wee-wee incident? You know, of course. Think he's, and I think so. Do you think it's going to work? Because do you think he's that calculated, or he just wants to get the hell out of there? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think he's that calculated. He wants to please hmm. her. I mean, look, when she's crying, when she's crying, he comes over there. It's, oh, you know, my God. Up, I can't when isn't she crying? No shit. She's always but crying. If I wasn't gay already, I would be like, no, thank you. Women are not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not classify like her that. in our gender. Do not okay. classify her in our gender, Ross. <laughs> Please. Okay, Word. I, I want to. I'm going to go ahead and call for a clip, clip number one here, and we'll talk about it. Uh, are you ready, fetus? Go. What is it? Oh, there. <laughs> I love this. I don't see anything. Oh no, it's when like oh, Rachel's it's running. It's coming. Am I supposed to see something? I can't see anything. Oh! <laughs> when Air Rachel runs and falls. Airbags get oh. and she landed safely. She goes Hilarious. head first into Jeff. Jeff's crotch. I was like, Jeff didn't even move. Jeff was like, <laughs> Did no, you and get the, the help part- Nothing. The best part about it is the music that they played with it, actually. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole <laughs> thing of, awesome. you know, we talked about this on another show, but I had to get the clip, and I'm going to be playing that clip over and over and over until season <laughs> end. But um, the thing is, is she runs around the backyard where we've all been in the house, and we've all seen people run around the backyard, yet, well, we've all been in the house. Matt, uh, Ross has been in the backyard of the house. You know where that... Yeah, you know where the uh, where the deck is. Who the fuck runs laps and goes over the deck, except for anybody that wants like so much attention that she's gonna run in the middle really of everybody's everyone. conversation. So to me, that is like the most hilarious motherfucking clip with that bitch falling on her face right in the middle of everybody. <laughs> Very nice job. It's the epitome of Rachel. Good job, Jason. <laughs> but guess what? You know, we're sitting here, and the entire conversation, this whole show, and the show before this, and the show before this, was about Brennan and Rachel. So, <gasps> you can hate them, but guess what? They get That's all the why they back. That's why they brought them back. <laughs> yeah, so. and I want to know, earlier today, I found it interesting, people on um, on Twitter, I was like, do they, I've never heard of a Brendel, Brendan and Rachel fan. I, is there is there no, any that exists? I think, I'm not I kidding. I think there's one. I think no, there's one and I put on them today. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever heard of one. And I honestly don't know how there could be one. And all, all these years of Big Brother, from season, season two on to 13, I've never heard of somebody who doesn't have at least a 20% pool of fans. Love them or hate them. No, I don't know. What? Okay. Oh, what, Ross? I have a fan. Okay, I, because let me tell you something. The rest of these houses aren't that interesting, or at least we're not seeing a lot of them, you know, with the exception of the Thieves and Phoebe After Dark. But, I mean, like, what does Kalia have to say? I mean, they, at least Ben and Rachel give me something to laugh at. And like, She says, feed me. 
But loss, it's not even something to laugh at. It's just nauseating and disgust. There's not one redeeming quality about either one of them, and especially them together. But see, Ross is talking <laughs> gameplay here, and it's like, like when um, on the, whatever season they were on the first time, they were at least the people that had to compete and fight every week. So you watched it for that purpose. Now, if Rachel leaves this week, you're literally going to have the entire house going against Danny because Jeff says so, you know, against Danny and Kalia, and it's not going to be a fun season. But let so me ask you this. Hasn't it been for the past few seasons, I'm sorry, Evil, that... No, that no, don't be sorry, go. There, it, it comes to a certain point in every season, these last few seasons, where you're like, oh, wow, okay, I'm done watching because there's no reason to watch anymore. It seems well, it like the whole it's been season like that for season. many seasons. And, season season and the season before, and the you season know, before, and the season before. You know what, I thought I was the only one, but I really felt that way, too. <laughs> I didn't find, like, the last three seasons yeah. really that interesting. And I think that right. um, Dan was the only sorry. saving grace in season 10. Um, mm -hmm. I think that if uh, anyone else besides Jordan had won season 11, everyone would think of that season as the biggest piece of shit ever. Um, so, Word. And I, then like season 12 season. was just boring. <laughs> <laughs> Your season, actually, it wasn't that bad the second half. Once they broke up the couples, I really enjoyed that season. It was the whole couple thing that sucked a dick. I and fucked up. I, I fucked yeah. up. I should, I should never put my alliance on the block. And the whole Adam winning thing. Hello? Oh, I, I, wasn't there. I wasn't there for that. There's nothing I could do. I couldn't vote nothing. Let's talk about... Um, oh, I want to ask you, just as a super fan, on behalf of all the super fans, I just want to know, like, if you guys were in the house right now, where would, who would you be aligning with? Where would you be right now at this point in the game? I'd be aligning with Dick and June. <laughs> I'd have uh, alliance with everyone. <laughs> the, uh, with of course, of course. What's new, I would, I would I'm with Dick, James. Dick and Daniel. Right, I'd be uh, hungry worse, James. Like playing like so would I. I was, you and I would be if, cooking like a motherfucker. If I was Bird. still in the house, um, the Alliance of the Six would still be strong. And we wouldn't let these floaters be getting through. Uh, would would be gone. All Adam that? would be gone. Um, I would wait until probably like the final eight or nine, maybe this week or next, to break it up and start throwing people up on the block. Unless something came up that was like extra special this week where I knew I could get a Brendan or I knew I could get a Jeff out. Um, I would have stuck with the Alliance because this is the way that people like Jordan sneak through. This right. is the yep. way that, you know, all of these stuff, like these weak people that have no business winning a fucking game or even getting through to the Final Four end up sneaking through, and it happens all the time. So, but Shelly said today that it takes all kinds to be in the Big Brother house. Oh, wow. And worse and and is one of those <laughs> categories. Of that. Um, let's okay, talk about, I got one thing. Did anyone notice that when Rachel was in the uh, in the diary room voting out Jordan, that the audience started laughing their fucking ass yes. off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now let's go on. Let's hear it. Yes. Who? I actually I'm... tweeted. I tweeted about that. I said they're all gonna laugh at you. Where is the pig's fucking blood? Like seriously, I was expecting a downpour. <laughs> okay. Carrie uh, reference. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. For those of you that are too young, Stephen King's Carrie. Go. But the thing Ross is, is what, what, what about when Brendan was, was already out and he's sitting there with Julie and they're showing the, the clips, the exit <laughs> clips. People were dead ass silent then. There was uh, not the reaction that there should have been there. Because A, people should have laughed their ass off when Kalia or whatever, I don't even know how to say her. Kalia's, 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 Kalia's was very good. Kalia's Kalia's was right? very good. I mean, come on, don't tell me everyone at home wasn't laughing their fucking balls off. And it, it doesn't like take a rocket toys. scientist to vote you out, motherfucker. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It doesn't, I mean, it was crickets and tumbleweeds in the fucking audience. So, you know, I mean, great that when, when that happened in the diary room and when uh, Rachel was running her out, but then when he was outside, it was like, wah, wah. <laughs> Without a doubt, I thought it was hilarious. That was like that was some of the funniest exit uh, goodbyes. But you know what? The reason is too is they didn't know that he was going to have a chance to be back on the jury, mm -hmm. that he was going to get a shot to come back in. You know, when somebody's leaving and they're out of the game, you don't give a flying fuck what anybody what your exit is. Fuck you. Get out of here. You know, don't let the door hit you in the ass, you douchebag. And they don't have anything to say because even if I'm final two, they're not going to get a vote. Now they're probably going, whoops, I hope he doesn't come back. Well, how is he going to come back if he does? Is it by vote or is it by competition? Is this that's, like that's, Survivor of a Demolition That's how Island? Julie was mixing it up. They're going Julie doesn't know anything. Go ahead, Alex. Go. Whoever's, 
Go ahead, season, Alex. The season that I was on, if anybody, you know, I know James doesn't remember, but some of you probably do. <laughs> um, they did this kind of to me. They said that America was going to vote for someone to come back in the House. And then, obviously, they didn't like what was happening with James. They knew James was leaving, and he, they knew that he was a good house guest for ratings and good that people actually like to watch. And they might have changed what happened, meaning, oh, uh, James going home. Well, let's see. Let's let the house guests vote now. So it seemed mm -hmm. as if today on the episode that they were going to do America's going to vote, and then the house guests are going to be able to play against themselves. In the, right. And it's going to be like it. Redemption Island. Redemption right. Island Survivor last season. And the um, house guests will have the opportunity, <laughs> no vote from the people in the house, the people who got evicted, right. are going to play against each other. So, but so to be, America's going to change, vote so. for, America's going to vote for the four people that they have up there now, Keith, uh, Cassie, uh, Brendan, and who the fuck is the last one? Uh, Dom. Dom. Dominic. Uh, <laughs> Those are the four choices. The top vote getter, which uh, is not going to be Brendan, will no. compete against whoever is voted out this week. Could we this have... Could this be playing out any better after Danielle's complete fuck up in the game for her? 100%. Kalia 100%. went in there and whipped everyone's ass. She, Holy ass. shit! She fucking ran Holy that HOH competition tonight. Awesome. And the first note that I made was, why the fuck would she put Lawan against Rachel? I thought it was a huge mistake. Why isn't she putting Rachel against Jeff right off the bat? You want to lose somebody? Yeah. <clears throat> and I just well, it thought didn't it matter. Well, it didn't matter because she went in and kicked everybody's fucking ass. I don't want to be right. playing against. I don't want to be playing against her in Jeopardy. She's quick on the fucking buzzer, and she was like, "Bam!" She got that shit with two words. Julie, I can name that answer in two fucking words. <laughs> yeah. No, she had her Jordan uh, fucking Rain Man moments a couple of times. I was like, she didn't even Definitely finish shot. the fucking question, and she answered. No, not yeah, even close. The last one. No, not even close. Yeah. How did yeah. you like that? That Rachel on the live show says fuck, <laughs> <laughs> and they have to go to screensaver, and then they come back, and Julie says, "Please, house clean guests, watch it. Oh, oh, clean it up. That's right." She listens well. She listens the well. Queen, keep come on, clean. Ross. You got something to say about that? I see you dancing around over there. Oh no! no Why no, can't no, I see I Ross? Just, I just loved it. I, I mean, I, I was really proud of Kalia. Finally, one of the newbies actually stepped up. I mean, that's the first time it's happened, and it's been what? How long has it been? They've been out two months now. Uh, I think month it's like a half. month. Yeah, month. Yeah, month, month and a half. James, what's up? <clears throat> well, I was gonna say, um, and this plays into what you just said, that all the house guests had, all the newbies had their chance to choose sides, and Kalia was the only one who, I guess, essentially had faith in Danny and saw that as a, as a path, you know what I mean? Where everyone yep. else was like, Jeff, Rachel, Jordan, just completely sheeple, just letting them do whatever they want. Yep. Now it looks like, you know, they fucked up, and there will be repercussions for it. Because, oh, this... I mean, obviously, the reruns are going to throw these people under the bus as soon as they can. I mean, they're doing it right now, I'm sure. The, this week, Kalia better not fuck up, and I don't think that Danielle will let her fuck up. Either Jeff or Jordan will be going home next week. See, I That's don't think so. should happen. They should be breaking up the couples. Um, they should be. Listen, there are two fucking votes that are never going to vote opposite each other. There's okay. no way. No way. They're, they're not going to. There's no way that they're going to take a risk of putting Jeff or Jordan out with this whole voting CBS controlling who comes back in. Nah, this you, is true, too. This is they're going to get rid of Rachel because they know that anyone will probably crush her. See, uh, I don't think so. Rachel said like, she can be tough in competitions. Um, I, uh, you have to take a chance with that. You know what? Take I would take a chance. I would take a chance this week and get Jordan's ass out of there because she can't win a motherfucking competition unless it's thrown to her. But and that's she's because not why, so why get her out? So why get her out? She because she's going to be one of the ones that floats all the way to the end. Well, so Dick, Adam, Dick, Dick you Ron, think that way? Shelley, Adam, well, I do. It happened once. Out. But Dick, okay, you but think that way because you won, right? As opposed to what? Just hey. any other person watching the show, or uh, any or, other... Or a newbie on the jury, June. Ross, what do you think? Or a newbie on the jury. Yeah, Ross never been in the house. Who do, you want out of the Who do you think they should get out next, Ross? If you're playing as Kalia. If I was doing it, I would aim for Rachel. I just think Rachel, look at the, the first, you know, four weeks of the competition won just about every competition, you know. I, that's why I say get her out. Someone like Jordan's not going to win anything. She's not really going to be a threat in the spread, I don't think. 
Um, and then if I got to get one of those two out, I would get Jeff out because he's going to win competition. Uh, so I think that Jeff would be a good choice. The, the fear is Jeff coming back in, uh, winning a competition. Yeah. Now, yeah, the Rachel this, this thing, is the only reason. This, this is something I want to remind everyone, and this is what I reminded people in my season about Jen, where they were all like, oh, she's winning Jen. all this stuff, we have to backdoor Jen. Jen, the psycho bitch that had covered her picture and cried for two hours. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. The okay, red so, unitard. Bikini um, the model. Red unitard. The red unitard. The little face goes like this. Okay, like this. the same thing that, that Ross is saying here is the same thing that people say all of the time. But I want you, how many competitions has Rachel personally won? Two HOHs. Did she win a POV? No. Um, are, no, I think she she won a POV with Brendan. Season. With Brendan. Oh yeah, with right? Brendan. Yeah. yeah. Right. With Brendan. Brendan won it. Okay, so that's three competitions that she won. Look at the first banana one. We gave that to Rachel. Look at the uh, puzzle one where everyone in the competition was throwing the competition. Yeah. That's yeah. the one where. Uh, that was um, POV. What's her name? Uh, yeah, Keith it was. Uh, Portia. Portia was throwing it. Keith, Keith was throwing it. Jeff was throwing Jeff it. Jordan, Jordan was an yeah. idiot. <laughs> um, nobody was competing <laughs> except for them. So, I mean, uh, who's left to win it? So, um, I, I think that she gets too much credit for uh, winning shit. She oh. fucked up tonight in a big way. May, she um, may, Evil, she may get too much credit, but in her season, she's still, she's good. Let's be honest. She's yeah. good at competitions. Here's the thing, though. I can promise you, if I was in that house with her right now, I would be fucking either killing her with one of my chef's knives, or I'd be doing everything I could to get the bitch out because I can't fucking listen to her anymore. I can't listen to oh, her. I I'm can't. She's driving I can't. Nuts. No, absolutely. So for that sole reason, fuck gameplay at that point. That bitch is going to drive everyone out of their goddamn mind. Period. <laughs> I'd I, I, I really want to take a break so Nicole can refill her wine glass. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really need to. I really... Okay, I'm going to go... Really, James, I was uh, my season. I was on with Doctor Will, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> do, you some, do you see any parallels here? Parallels, maybe crazy, mm. manipulative, annoying. I no? see lots of crazy. I uh, yeah, lots of crazy. Uh, let's go to the second clip. This was not on I'm the show. I'm breaking out James Ryan. But anybody that's been watching the feeds will know exactly what the fuck we're talking about here. Uh, this is the uh, the vomit wedding. Oh. Ugh. I haven't seen this. Hey, 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 Why can't you see anything? I, I actually wanted them to play that. I wanted them to play the music Woo! under so we could actually hear Lawan, uh, but we got blasted out there. That was that was the song of my choice though. Uh, and I think good. it was kind of appropriate. Uh, I, I saw Ross up there laughing his ass off. Um, Nicole wow. needs to learn how to toggle so she can see some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what toggle means. I'm 40. You know toggle. Okay. Why you know how, how to toggle? <laughs> no. You know, I know how to toggle when it counts. Okay? <laughs> Woo! I can always go back and watch this. You know what I'm saying? Toggle me, baby. Okay, I want to right. hear how pathetic everybody thinks that this is. Uh, or, or thinks it's romantic or whatever your feelings are. Them actually doing this, um, putting this wedding dress together out of white trash bag. This, uh, all this is is... Give me more attention. Give me more attention. And guaranteed, as they're doing this, they're like, this is going to make the show. Did this make the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Ross, hilarious, you, by the way. What do you think about this wedding, Ross? Listen, I, I just appreciate uh, house guests don't just sit there, you know, and do nothing. For the fact Agreed. that they're being creative, that's, okay. uh, as a fan, I like that. I mean, it's stupid, over the top, and ridiculous. Yes, but it's Brendan and Rachel. I mean, that's what we expected. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. Were you gagging Good the point. whole time, Ross? Were you gagging the whole time, Ross? Don't lie. 
No, I was not gagging. I was like, I was like, honestly, I, I, I hate even saying this, but I was like this. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't see you, but I can tell you that I'm disowning you now. I love it, but that disturbed my feelings. Uh, James, I know you got something to say about this. Two things. I think Ross is just upset that he wasn't the bridesmaid. <laughs> but this Double is one time. of those. This is one of those <laughs> weddings. This is one of those weddings where at the end you wish they would just take those trash bags and instead of removing the veil, just kind of like put it over and, <laughs> and tying it close around her neck. She likes that stuff. Yeah. Omg, that's you, June. That's you, mm. honey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Ross, okay. always the bridesmaid, uh, never the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Alex, Alex, let's hear what you think about this thing. Is this the first time you've seen this, or you see it on the feed? No, this is the first time. This is the first time I'm seeing it. I mean, like Ross was saying, the feeds can get boring if we're not doing anything for these people. I mean, obviously they need to edit stuff, but this didn't make it for that editing. But at least, at least they went out of their way to try to get people to watch and enjoy it. Because sitting there, I mean, I remember my season when I came home. They're like, if it wasn't for the orgy in the pool. We wanted to shut you off every night because reading the Bible and just talking and whispering because that's what we do. Because talking? You think I'm talking? Yeah, with a W. Talking. Um, <laughs> I told you, that's not for nothing. Sure. <laughs> not for nothing. <laughs> Wait, I thought Enzo was on last night. Very funny. Oh. Dude, I thought we, we had something. That's cool. We do, we do. NYC yeah. all the way. NYC, all right. Dog. Okay, I got a text message from uh, Andrew from last season. The uh, What the fuck is that? Uh, Captain Kosher. Uh, yeah. He says, yeah. Danny told her to do that before the competition. Danny prepared Kalia to pick Rachel versus Luan. Um, I, I'm not sure why. I thought it didn't make sense to me, but I all guess right. it was all in their plan. Because did you well see Luan's face? He looked so shocked. Rachel totally stuck a finger up his ass. His face was like, <laughs> I'm sure one <laughs> finger is not going to affect Luan. I thought that they were. They <laughs> oh my God, James, run. What's happening? <laughs> that was a <laughs> Elbow deep, baby. Elbow deep. <laughs> I took it here. Nicole took it. Oh. There's some water out there. I didn't Always. do anything. I'm, I'm 41. Oh, I'm 41. Shit. Oh my god, wait. Are we going to hear I'm a mother and I'm a wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you'll never hear from me. I'm, I'm really really you'll never hear that from me. I know I'm so sorry. Josie. 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 Fuck you. I'm 48. I'm overweight and out of shape. Right. Okay, how's that? Is that a comparison for that? Yes, you are an old motherfucker. You are an old motherfucker. The oldest motherfucker to ever win the game. Alex is the baby oh. here. Well, oh, congratulations oh, then. My bad. <laughs> I, have um, I nailed you. Like Dominic. Virgin How old are you, Ross? Virgin ears. I'm, I'm going to be 22 this year. So. Oh. <laughs> did he, wait, did he say so 22? So successful. So 22? Success. <laughs> yeah. On <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I think your Dolce & Gabbana suit's going to be 22. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh! D&D um, all the way. <laughs> okay, out of everyone in the house, who do you feel the most sorry for with Kalia winning HOH? My answer is her food basket. <laughs> How about the HOH bed? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, the springs need reinforcing. Um, who do you think she's going to put up? June. Uh, Rachel and Portia. Really? Uh, James. Um, I'm thinking, I was actually thinking Rachel and Portia, and actually I can't remember if there was something that happened a week or two ago where I saw hints of Kalia having game. So I think she might be one of these players <laughs> that kind of starts to surprise us. Yeah, uh, so she surprised us already. Uh, well, with the other than her consumption, I'm talking about like gameplay. <laughs> uh, Nicole, who gonna do she, well. Sorry, Nicole, who do you think she's gonna put up? I really think Rachel and Portia. Although I, I don't know if that's the right thing, but I don't think she's gonna put up Jeff and Jordan just because I don't mm -hmm. think your daughter's gonna let her. Nope. Um, I think that they should break them up. Uh, Alex, who do you think she's gonna put up? I just like to see a backdoor of Rachel. That's what I would like to see, but um, <laughs> that's yeah. the last thing I want to see. Is a backdoor of Rachel. No, thank you. No, thank Not you. That. That's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, Ross, who do you think she's gonna put up? I think out of you know, she's got it. She's not gonna make a huge move with the Jeff and Jordan. It's gotta be Rachel and Portia with Rachel headed out, unless she wins the veto. I think. I, I truly think that she should put up uh, one of Jeff and Jordan, and I could see a Rachel. 
Uh, but I think that she should split them up. Uh, I think letting them go this far as a pair, uh, they need to be broken up. And uh, I think that this should be the week. Because them getting two HOHs in a row, if you count Danny in with the newbies, this is never going to happen again. Um, this is their chance to fucking douche the house of all these couples. Alex. Does Jeff realize he can't win if Jordan's in the house? Do, do does, Jeff no realize, does Jeff realize he can't win, period? This motherfucker cannot win a competition. He's won two competitions in two seasons so far, and both of them were in the same week uh, in season 10. Or no, I know, he's, but he's gonna, if he doesn't get, he's going to last with Jordan in the house, but does he realize well, they, they just point, wanna, he Dude, all they want to do is they, they just want to spend the summer together. That's all they're there for. He, they, they, you know, she said it again tonight. I want to spend the summer with my boyfriend. I say get a one-way ticket to fucking Alabama and spend it in her mom's trailer, wherever the hell she is, <laughs> and be happy. Uh, uh, James. See, um, everyone keeps talking about the house being, you know, just split in half, so to speak. And I don't. I think there's actually three separate little clicks here now. You have Jeff and Jordan with Shelly attached to the outside of it. Um, and then you have Danny and Kalia, and then the rest are just kind of like out there. They don't, they're just furniture right now. They're not doing well, shit, they're just laying out the yard. I think that is, Portia's in bed with Rachel. But uh, she's going to abandon shit. I mean, Portia, I'm sure, is going to distance herself from Rachel immediately this week. But she uh, voted yeah, Jordan sure. out. Portia yeah, which is what's going to which yeah. is what's gonna fuck her. And I said that during the show. If she votes Jordan out, she's sealing her fate. So she's going to try to distance that herself. Adam but is going to... Adam is the ultimate floater in the house right now. He's a Zach, except for he thinks he's a Zach with an opinion no, and Zach. a brain. He's, he's and, not uh, even a floater. He's a sinker. Adam. Seriously. He's horrible. He's but the thing is, is he's going to end Adam. up fucking one of these boats up, and it's all he's going to be the swing boat in one of these boats. And that's way too much power for this bacon-eating raw elf to fucking uh, have. Uh, so I, I think that this guy's going to end up fucking himself one week and end up gone. But, um, hey. Hope so. What do you think about Adam Ross? Uh, I don't know that he has the balls to step up and really make a power play. And even if he did, I don't know if he'd be the right one. I mean, like, he's a fan like me, but I haven't seen anything game-wise that impresses me yet. Not well, if his balls are as... I said that. If his balls are what, June? What, June? If, what? The, if his balls are as clogged as his arteries, he's got bigger <laughs> balls than Brendan, right? Oh, come on, June. The guy lost like 200 pounds in the last year. Oh, and 100 he's eating pounds, bacon actually, yeah. like it's water. Dude, uh, no, no, I'm just saying. Okay, you and I both put on some fucking LDs when we were in there. Let's not be hypocrites, okay? Oh, my God. I was a fucking cow. I okay, what's all that? Go ahead, Alex. It's the Big Brother house. I lost 60 pounds eating bacon. I was on Atkins. I lost 60 pounds. Okay, that's the worst <laughs> idea I've ever heard. Moving on. I'm um, sorry, I didn't. I, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. I, when I was in the house, I watched Adam cook up four motherfucking pounds of bacon. I had three pieces, Jeff had two, and he ate the rest. And I'm not oh, bullshit. I get rid of him. I get rid of him for you all the Well, guess what? No kidding. Dick, Dick, he reached, he reached his goal weight of getting on Big Brother, and now he can go back. Well, now he can go on is? Biggest Loser. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's going yeah, right? to double up on the fucking that's reality the, show. That's, that's the, the next, next stop. Is that the weight show, or is there no one? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Ethan, oh, well, can I ask you a question? I just want to ask can. you one question. Because I've watched all the other shows, and of course I couldn't have a part in speaking about those. Now, not I'm just playing devil's advocate. Um, <laughs> I'm just wondering now. I, I realize, really? Let's not be hypocritical, okay? Um, so it's like the newbies versus, versus the veterans, right? Now, if you were not on that show, what interest would you have? Would you then have full interest and hate all the newbies? Like... I You're think, thinking? honestly, if I was just a viewer this season, as I have been for the last three and I was for the seven prior, um, I think that this season um, I would probably be bored out of my motherfucking mind. The newbies yep. suck a dick. They're all horrible. Um, Kalia <laughs> is annoying as shit. She never stops talking. Adam is less annoying on the show as he is in person. Uh, in person, day two, I was just like, I, I, I was ready to scream and start choking him. Um... I, I don't think this was this would be I don't know I think maybe with Danny winning and now Kalia winning at least mm -hmm. it swings power to the other side of the house so it has kind of a halfway interesting Could close shift. to the season. But, yeah, but, I, but my point, but my question is, would you hate all the newbies regardless, and would everybody? 
I, I, there's no interest in these people. On the television, really as a viewer, I'm not crazy about any of the movies. <laughs> you, um, would. I, you would. You <laughs> would. What? I said, I don't hate Cassie. <laughs> you just want to fuck Cassie. Cassie is hot as fuck. Hell oh, yeah, she hot is. Hot bitch. And Me, you, and, and Cassie. Her. Me, yeah, and Cassie. Cassie. And I liked her. I'm in on Cassie's, that June song. Cassie's mm -hmm. hot. Cassie's a guy's girl. She could sit there and, like, literally, she was sitting there smoking, drinking, and farting with me. She's like, oh, here's one for you. You know, like, I, I love that. Sitting on the she outside was awesome. Party. She's <laughs> full of shit. I, I really like she that. She was awesome, Evil, right? She was awesome. She was awesome. awesome. Face. And evil. <laughs> but Evil. Dom, Dom, I liked. Cassie, I liked. You know, Porsche, I can give two flying fucks about. You like I can. You know, so I, mean, the people, the past, I agree with you. I'm going to be encouraging everyone uh, out there that's watching this right now. If you're a Danielle fan, the only vote that you can have is to vote for Dominic. I don't Russian. think that... Uh, hold on, motherfucker. I'm like my monologue, bitch. <laughs> um, Cassie is not going to help Danielle. Cassie's going to go running right to Shelly. And yeah. she's going to end up teamed up with Jeff and Jordan. Uh, Keith is like not even in the running. And I don't think anybody's going to be uh, voting for Brendan. I so think that the it. vote's going to be between Dominic and Cassie. And if you're a Danielle fan, you need to vote Dominic. Even though I can't stand her gameplay with him in the house, she needs the numbers, she needs the help, and that's what I am campaigning for. Um, uh, James. Um, now, because of the whole thing at the end, how Dominic was like, you know, we had the conversation with Jeff about how his game was screwed up because of Danielle. Is he sitting here in sequester thinking, Fuck! If I get another chance, I'm not gonna let this girl win my game. Or is he gonna is he gonna go back in and be like, you know what, Jeff, you were right. I want to be on your side, and I want to take out Danielle. I want to take out these people that helped send me home the first time. Or is he gonna go back in there and just fall, you know, as her lap dog again? No, because he's gonna see that. he's gonna see that Danny got rid of Brendan, and so he's gonna go right back with her. Yeah, exactly. I think so too. I think that. Exactly. Um, uh, him going out there, to work out a deal with Jeff. Working out a deal with Jeff would be stupid. And Jeff treated him like shit the last week he was in there. Jeff had HOH syndrome and was talking shit to everybody, yeah. thinking that they were going to run HOHs, uh, run the table. Um, I want to, I want to move on. We don't have uh, much time left, and I have a lot of video mailbag. So let's run the first do this video mailbag. I hope I can see this one. Come from My question for the panel this week is: Would you guys rather? be in a alliance with the friendship from season six or with the brigade <laughs> and i gotta say it and i may get whacked for it but uh mail mail sucks go gremlin <laughs> i don't know what that has to do with the season uh absolutely nothing <laughs> but uh the uh, the choice was between the friendship and the brigade uh who would you rather be in alliance with Wait, uh, I know who the friendship is who's the friendship the season six the nerd herd Nerd herd. Uh, uh, let's go right to James. <laughs> um, you know what, to be honest, the friendship is pretty easy to manipulate with the exception of Maggie, whereas the brigade, in my opinion, were pretty much morons. They just kind of like floated their way to the end because they, the rest of their house was dumber than they were. So I don't, I don't have to say the brigade just because I think that they'd be a pushover. June? I hate this question. The brigade. No, you don't have to answer if you hate it. Uh, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. James said the whole cast was basically morons, and the brigade got further. I would stick with the brigade. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, but, but both alliances won. Ross, who would you like to spend the summer with? The friendship, the nerd herd, or the brigade? Well, he wants to be wrapped up with the brigade. <laughs> Ooh. We need my pictures to remember these people. I don't remember <laughs> every episode, but I'm, I'm like, oh, the brigade, who was in that? But like, honestly, that was Matt. It was Matt who got voted out first, and it was Hayden, Enzo, and Lane from no, last season. Not the brigade. Not the brigade. <laughs> so you'd rather Shocking. be with Yvette and Maggie, and who the hell else was in that? April, Bay, and Jen, Cappy. No, not them either. <laughs> 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 good answer, good answer. Well, She's like, I hate everyone. <laughs> well, I hate uh, all the <laughs> Nicole, what's your answer to that? Brigade or uh, friendship? I agree with Ross. I don't like either, but if I have to hey. pick one, I'll say the brigade just so I can look at Hayden, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I would also Keith? say the... I would say the brigade just because I would be able to hang out and at least talk with them. Where the uh, friendship, I would just want to bang their heads together. Mm -hmm. uh, next video mailbag, please. 
Do this! This again? No, uh, that's the no, same No, no, go now. away! Oh, <laughs> Well, hello. I'm not hearing it. So what I want to ask is if there's a... Season person. has to be biased towards... Hey guys, uh, let's get right down to it. I mean, I know you guys have uh, talked about this before, uh, but I mean, this season has to be biased towards the veterans. There's no way the newbies could have won. I mean, the only people that really had a chance in this game were Keith and Dominic, yeah, and question. Keith went insane, and... Dominic aligned with Danielle, and I mean, Danielle was a strong competitor, but she, of course, you know, shot herself in the foot. But yeah, the, the veterans seem to be the only people that can win anything, and the only person who's won anything else is Dominic, and he's long gone. So, I mean, it, it, What's the question? I think this whole season is biased <laughs> towards the veterans. So, so the question is whether it's biased so towards the veterans. Stifler's question here. No, the question <laughs> is, 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 he, is he speaking so quiet, he doesn't wake up his mom in the next room and come with that. <laughs> mom, leave me alone. So, so, uh, so do you think that this season is biased towards the veterans, even though they came in, uh, two people down? Uh, I think that we talked about this before, but... Uh, you know, um, let me pick. Uh, let me let me kick Ross on this because you are uh, an observer, a fan, a viewer. Uh, what's your opinion on this? I, I 100% was in favor of the veterans. I think not only did they know each other, they probably talked before entering the game. You know, they just had met at least. They were familiar with each other's gameplay. And plus, you know, the Big Brother house. You know, I saw in All Stars, people had been in there before. You learn what not to do, and and the newbies just didn't mm. have that advantage. So you think that that was more of an advantage than uh, the numbers? Completely. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Definitely more advantage of the numbers. Absolutely. Because those people uh, are stupid and they're, they're going to float out. They're going to leave. Oh, they, you know, what I said was um, going into the third day, these people are still looking around the backyard and looking up at the walls saying, I'm in the Big Brother house. And we had a plan set in for the first three evictions already. I mean, yeah. we were so far ahead of them. It was just that the, they weren't even on the same plane. Uh, June was raising your hand. Go. Yeah, no, I was going to say, what about the POV bullshit for the last three weeks? For the first three weeks, I said that POV actually stands for promotion of veterans because Jeff and Jordan and Brendan and Rachel were playing in every veto, and the only other people were the people who were up on the block. But what? it's not a coincidence. All the veterans were playing in every veto. Um, I can't say anything about production because I'm <coughs> under contract sale, but it is all yeah. coincidence. <laughs> Um, what I, what I will say, uh, ooh? <laughs> are you are you going back to the uh, to the milk competition, the yeah. moo yeah. competition? Yeah. I didn't make it that far. Dick suit is on eBay. <laughs> That's right. My yeah. cow outfit is on eBay and at like one hundred and thirty dollars or something right now. Two hundred thirty dollars. So it's at like two actually. something, dude. Yeah. Yeah, bless. two something. God bless. <laughs> so um, actually, there's a picture I put up there in the cow outfits of me, Danielle, Jeff, and Jordan, and that's going up all signed. It'll be sent off at the end of the season. So go bid away on eBay for a signed <laughs> picture by Jeff, Jordan, myself, and my daughter. Uh, um, I think we're going to skip on to the next one. This wasn't a very exciting question that Stifler had. Let's leave hey, her. Hi, Thank you so much for doing this after show. It's absolutely hilarious. My question is, if you were in Danny's position as HOH, would you have accepted the veteran, well, Rachel's deal to mend fences and go after the floaters so they can grab a life vest? Also, ED, if you were in that house, would you have attended the wedding? And if you did, would you have done your classic move? <laughs> I hope so. And as Portia would say, my shoulders hurt from all that banging. Thanks, guys. Bye She's now. awesome. Oh, she she is awesome. That's that the best great. video my bag that we've had in quite a while. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you very much. Um, and let's go around the horn on this one. Um, I'll start off, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to discount the rest of the question, except for would you attend the wedding? Fuck no. Uh, June, would you attend the wedding? Only so I could speak in a bad Korean accent. <laughs> uh, Alex? Alex yeah, would be I, the ring bearer. I'd be, I'd de no, I'd DJ that shit. I'd get the party going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James, would you be sucking up attending this horrible wedding from these, 
These two people that make you want to vomit. No, I'd be praising all the food left over inside the house. <laughs> uh, Nicole, I want to hear this one. No, I definitely would not. And I have to say, A, there would be no DJing in the house since when I had, when I was in that house, there's no POV. There was no music. There's none of any of the shit y'all had. She so congratulations to you guys. We had to wash our clothes. I know. We, got we had to wash our clothes out of work. But no, I would not. And you know, I wouldn't go in anybody's HOH room that I didn't like either. That's some bullshit. I, I totally agree. Um, and when Jen got HOH, uh, I never went into Jen's HOH. I went outside and had a cigarette. <laughs> well, that's right. Ross said um, he would sing at the wedding. <laughs> yeah, I would sing at their wedding. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. You can't, Ave sing. Maria? you can't sing in the Big Brother house. I know, but I would la, la, la. Something. Sweet Home know. Alabama for the fucking <laughs> white trash wedding. Talk it out. Talk it Listen, out. I could... I got the please stop singing just when I was whistling out of tune. So la 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 wouldn't cut it either. Uh, let's go to the next video mailbag. Be just as good. Hey, this question is for the Dick at Night show. I heard Brennan cheated on Rachel after last season. Do you think that's true? Well, we all know it's from like was this oh, last really year's Dick? video really mailbag? Dick? Is this cheating? <laughs> <laughs> is this really cheating? <laughs> Gross. That's so gross. <laughs> but if you gross out June sexually, there's a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't grossed out, actually. I was oh, that was Ross. Ross. I'm sorry. That was Ross. Yeah. That you was were Ross. focusing. Hello. I don't know. Is she, like, in communist China where there's no Google? Like, was this question. last year's question? Um, just Google uh, Brendan jerking off or Brendan <laughs> Molly or uh, TMZ Brendan's apology. Or yeah. a million Brendan other things. Penis, uh, Brendan Penis. Uh, what is what were they called? Penis early. Gate. Penis Brendan Penis, penis Gate. Uh, anyhow, roll the next clip. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Hey Dick, Megan, I was just wondering if um, Brendan gets voted out tonight. Do you think that Rachel is going to lay low, or do you think hey, that um, she's going to just go that shit like she probably will and yeah. get her on break? Wait, can we rewind? No, I can't. Yeah, everybody's talking. Plus, I wouldn't mind seeing her again. Can we start this one over? <laughs> Am I paying for this? If Brendan gets voted out tonight, do you think that Rachel would be smart enough to lay low? Or do you think that um, she's going to just go bat shit like she probably will and dig her on grave? Yeah, I hope she kind of goes bat shit because she's kind of fun to watch. Irritating, but fun. Um, <laughs> and part of me kind of wants Brendan to get back in the game if he gets voted back in, because they're fucking crazy together. And it's for good ratings, so Big Brother. Let her host. Let her host. Is she wearing a full oh, sorry, sorry. jacket behind her? Oh, wait, is she asking a question, or is she just like, you know? I, I, I don't know. Um, she's, she's really asking, what do you think Rachel will do? Will she be yeah. able to contain her emotions and lay low, or is she going to go batshit crazy and fucking end up getting herself evicted? Uh, what do you think, Ross? Crazy. Batshit crazy or lay low? Batshit crazy. No. Uh, James? No. I said it, like I said, if she loses HOH and throws her microphone in the pool, this bitch is gone. She's, she's lost it. Uh, June? She batshit she crazy or... <laughs> Alex? Crazy! Look what she did today on tonight's episode. That she flipped out after she was up. Uh, what Portia was upstairs with Danielle? She started crying, and they had a little love moment on the hammock. I'm uh, gonna say she does it because Brendan's gone. I am, sister. I say the same thing. She's gonna be in so much fucking bizarro shock that she's just gonna shut down like she did in the HOH competition tonight. Well, right before, right before they went live, um, all day long, she's just been a fucking nutcase. They had to call Dr. Zachary into the DR yeah. to yeah. talk her off the ledge and all of this yeah. shit where she was going to uh, um, she was going to self-evict and Brendan was encouraging her to walk out with him and all this other bullshit. Oh, it's just about drama. These two motherfuckers just can't get along without any drama in their life. Next video mail. Get some. Dr. Zachary's hot. Hey, what's up, guys? This is more dots from the RTV Zone forums and my question is about the DR. Um, I've heard on the feeds through various different seasons, people mention that the people in the DR have planted seeds in their head or said things about other house guests that have sort of uh, made them think differently about people. Uh, this season, for example, Kalia was mentioning that she was in the DR and the woman in there 
had made a statement about Rachel that made her really start wondering what was going on. And that definitely impacts the game uh, when it's supposed to be, you know, just you in there playing and, and doing your best to, to play a game. The DR getting involved is bullshit. So I wanted to know uh, if on your seasons any sort of shenanigans like that happened or anything worse and what you guys think about it. Thanks. Um, let me hit this a little first. What they say is they want you to think about things from all sides. But what you have to keep in mind is they're putting on a motherfucking television show. And when everyone's voting unanimously to get one person out, they want to make it look like that person has a chance to stay. Um, if it's a total wipeout all season long, they have to at least like, keep you on the edge of your seat. To, um, and they need these kind of sound bites to go along with it. Um, the leading questions, so on and so forth. I'm staying out of this because I'm still under contract with CBS. And I said I wouldn't say anything. Nicole, go. Pick me! Pick me! I picked okay. you, bitch. <laughs> Honey, it's been 10 years since I've been on this motherfucker. They didn't have POV. They didn't have anything. We were basically prehistoric BB2. Okay. I walked up here on the way to school both ways. And, uh, exactly. There was Let me tell you what. We had planes, we had banner planes that would fly above us to change the game just as much as we would have DR people kind of suggesting questions and changing our minds about things and making us think differently. So it does happen. I, I agree with, with Dick in the sense that they say they want to make you think of things in all perspectives, but they do plant the seed and they do it on purpose and it's very strategized by CBS. They're, it's not stupid. Okay, it's a, we'll stay it's in that game it's about all the way to the end. Yeah, we're, we're just numbers. 9-11 happened when I was in there, people. Okay, we're just a number. We're just, all we are is a pawn. It doesn't matter who we are as human beings. I'm done. Um, I, got a, I got in the uh, stick of chat room. In the stick of chat room, it says, Nicole had a plane. Her husband flew yeah. over bitching at her. Yeah. Is that for real? me. Telling me on the final HOH, when I was sitting on a fucking pee bed with Will and Monica, who <laughs> played over saying that he thought I cheated on him and that he was basically going to divorce me. I, 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 and then 9-11 happened. You, 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 and then 9-11 happened. <laughs> what a dumb... I had 14 breakdowns on that goddamn show. Uh, that sounds like a, a Rolling Stone song. You look beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you, you look hot too. I love seeing you right now. Uh, next video, Melba, go. You guys can make out after. Okay. So I asked a question before, but I have a really, really short question. Okay. Is this the same girl? The oh, yeah. girl? I'm just curious. Like, there's only so much shit she could eat in one fucking day. How does she not lose weight? Fucking, I, she needs to get out of Danny's ass ASAP. <laughs> Because it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Is that Miley and, Cyrus? Um, quite frankly, I don't know how she fits up there. Um, she I looks like lipstick. Oprah and Al Sharpton. <laughs> so together. do I. She did a lipstick change. Stand watching her. She needs to go. She needs to go and a little piece of life. Okay, thank you. Bye. Wait, now you're even a question. Now you're in the diary room. stage. Sorry, I have absolutely no, no idea what she said. That's okay. Oh, that's our that's our two minute warning. We got two minutes left. Uh, roll the next clip. But thank you for the last two clips. Oh, it's a... <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, my more God. Boobies. Hello. Hello. It's yes. about Shelly, and it has multiple parts. The first like one does. is, um, why is she such an insufferable sea hag? I don't understand. <laughs> She's so fucking sanctimonious, and um, I don't understand how people can sit there and listen to her. Uh, number two, why does her face look like a piece of beef jerky? And number three, and most importantly, I want to know when uh, you think the house is going to kind of wake up to her antics, because she's clearly the biggest liar in the house. And the only person that seems to have caught on to that a little bit is Portia, but I don't think Portia is going to have any part of trying to win HOH, so that's kind of moot. Um, I want to know um, oh if you God. think that, you know, people are going to catch on anytime soon, and if they do, um, do you think they're going to do anything about it, or are they just going to see her as one of those people that can be dealt with later? Because, you know, we all know how well that works out. This is question two minutes long. So, um, and also because Four. it can't be said enough, Brendan and Rachel <coughs> fucking suck. Um, Ross, why don't you take that 29-card question from our 1-900, uh, 
Uh, I'll bring it again. <laughs> Apparently, from the Ukraine. <laughs> You know, I kind of like Shelly. I like that Shelly's been playing. You know, she's the only newbie that's been really playing since she first got in there. But I, I don't know how it's going to work out for her. But I don't, I don't hate her. I like her. Okay, best Shelly comment of the season was by June Song, who on the eviction night said she looks like, who's the fucking Canadian singer that I hate? Oh, Celine Dion. <laughs> she looked like Celine Dion. I almost pissed my pants. Oh, my God. I've had, like, five more since then, though. Yeah, you gotta, you got to keep up on Twitter. <laughs> I can't because you guys do spoilers and I don't watch the live feeds. Uh, oh, sorry. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I have Shelly, a life. I love Shelly you guys. Shelly is David Spade. Life. Shelly is Steven Tyler. Mm. Uh, Shelly is David Spade. Like Shelly Steven is Tyler. John. Shelly is Johnny Fairplay. Um, I'm getting this all out of the stickum chat room. Uh, we got time for one more. One more. Go. 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 Last one. Do it. Do it. Okay, so my question will probably be answered in tonight's show, but I just want your opinion. Do you think that Rachel's meltdown over the last two days was a ploy that her and Brendan have concocted in order to freak the house guests out enough to want to keep Brendan to control Rachel's emotions? And also, um, would it have been a strategic move for her and Brendan to make so that the other house guests would kind of eliminate her in tonight's competition uh, thinking that she was too much of a basket case to compete. Um, so what do you think about that? And also, Team Dominic, which is... And I love yeah, my... Which is tonight. backwards. Xanax could not control Rachel's fucking emotions, okay? There's uh, no way to control that shit except for maybe sterilization. I, I completely <laughs> agree. <laughs> I, I don't believe anything that she's doing is planned and calculated. It's Agreed. all raw motion. She Agreed. definitely needs to be on some Zoloft or something. Oh, and so back to the show thing, I like the fact that she's lying and doing something. At least she's doing something in there. In the many other movies, I, I like the fact that she's getting every, right. you know, lying. Yeah, I, I think that we all agree on the fact, we talked about this, that if she yeah. owned it in the diary room, I think that we would all like her much better. Yeah, good point. Instead of trying to be putting herself on a pedestal and saying, I'm the one with integrity, I'm a mother, yeah. I'm a wife, I'm a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, yeah. and, I think know, she's brilliant. And what she does is probably what she does at work. Like I it's, so obvious, but about. it's so obvious that she isn't when she goes up to Danny and Kalia up in the up in yes. the uh, in the room right away. It's obvious that she went up there to get information to feed it to somebody else. I thought that was really sad, pathetic. I saw. Right I completely that. agree, and I think that they're stupid for not knowing it. But even when, as soon as she left, Danny goes, "She's so sketchy." Yeah. yeah. She no, they know she's it. So sketchy, but it's still. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even talk to her if she would have walked up into my 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 room at that point. I would have been like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Seriously, seriously, just don't. I would not even. What do we have to say? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> you're so intense. Don't you're want so to burn bridges. Really, really, June. <laughs> You would just fry something and just yeah. send it to them. Like deep fry? Deep, deep fry? So do, you, do you think that this is going to be a good week in the house with Kalia at the helm? Yeah. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be a great Ross? week this week. I Ross, agree. you think, I think so too? Be, yeah, it's going to be a little different. We're going to see something we haven't seen yet, which is um, a new person in the HOH room. It's going to be nice. Uh, I think we're going to see something that we haven't seen. I think we're going to see Kalia eat like no one has ever eaten before. <laughs> She's going God. to be eating and yeah. talking at the same time. Uh, the microphone's going to sound more like... <laughs> I mean, Kalia the Hutt is going to set records here. I think she's going to actually eat the basket that the food comes in. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you. Ross, thank you very much for coming. June, Alex, um, Nicole, and James, uh, thanks for coming tonight. So to speak, this was a uh, this was a very interesting session here. It was fun, and I hope that you all come back again soon. Uh, and we will uh, um, see you later. I will Thanks be doing for the having chat. us. Uh, it's always you. a pleasure, baby. I love, love Dick at Night. Love Dick at Night. We we'll know get some you more do. Dick at Night. Peace out, guys. <laughs> <laughs>